So we're at the bottom of the hardline course, it's raining, it is windy, and practice might be at a minimal today. So we're gonna go and talk to the riders and the mechanics hey. about exactly how they set their bikes up for this mental race. How you doing? Gas to flat, and you got your bodyguard Ollie hey, here. Hey. Yeah, Ollie Greensmith, you know. Tell hard us man. about hard your man. hard man for hardline bike. <laughs> what's new, what's different, what's the same? Um, same, almost everything to be honest with you. Uh, obviously went slightly harder front and rear. Um, How much? I think 10 in the front and went up 50 pounds on the spring rate. 10 PSI more in the front? Yeah. A lot then? Uh, seven tokens. Honestly? Yeah. We don't mess I don't even think you meant to have seven in there, but I put seven in. For any rider at home, you are not as strong as Adam, so don't put seven tokens in your fork. <laughs> this man is built like a I'm cut a from a different cloth. toilet place. So. <laughs> um, obviously, we've had a lot of rain now, so we've got the Crud XL on. Uh, we've gone for a heavily cut spike just because there's so much uh, bedrock up there. Uh, tire pressures, a couple of PSI harder than usual just because of the squirming on the big jumps. However, that obviously is a bit of an issue when you come to the bedrock because you have less grip. And um, Ollie, what's it like working on the bikes compared to a normal race? You know what? Adam's really good because he does a lot of his own stuff himself. So because he's a pro he knows how he likes his bike. A pro he, he, He'll like happily never heard do it that. himself. So it's <laughs> like, you've not heard that? No, I like well, it. He invented it. He invented it. I'm I'm saying, no, no, I've heard it here first. It was Ollie. It was Ollie. pro -Vateer. But no, it's pretty good. It's chilled out hard line, isn't it, compared to a World Cup. So. Yeah, it's just a good all-round event. Oxford Dictionary as well. If you look up Proveteer, it has uh, inverted commas. By Adam Brayton. By Adam Brayton. Uh, privateer with a bit of help. He's not He's not pro, he's not privateer. He's a bit <laughs> of both, bit of both. Let's get out of the rain. Yeah, yeah. tidy. Are you not riding then, John? Are you just filming now? Yeah. I'm Josh, a bit of tech talk. Yeah. What are you riding this weekend? First time back in five years. Yeah, it is. And I've... Um... I've come with my trail bike with some triple clamp strapped to the front. Um, we've had to do a few little mods. We've got a, a mullet link here, which is designed so you can put a smaller back wheel in, um, but it actually gives you an extra 10 mil travel. So I've, I'm up to 175 on my back with a coil shock. Now I've got little 155 cranks, full 29, 220 front row for that extra stopping power and yeah a nice high front end with a 50 mil rise ride high bars 50 mil 50 mil the high 50s the high 50s yeah and we've got <clears throat> because it is a trail bike and it's not designed for a triple camp we've had to go with a 190 mil travel fork with a 581 axle to crown which keeps it similar to like a 160 mil zeb um so yeah feels amazing just doing my job and, and um any changes planned for the wet conditions we're gonna get no i always run a shorty on the front and a minion on my back regardless of conditions sick that's just my setup so i'll stick with that i'm like well yeah one i'm gonna put another uh, marsh guard here okay well, that's it buzzing well good luck bud nice one mate hey tani first time riding hardline this year how's it all going well, not very well actually because of the weather it's so bad but you've ticked some few bits off i've seen you do the yeah. cannon both cannons actually yeah no it was insane actually but we were limited with weather so we've only had like a total of like six hours riding i think from the yeah, girls but... i wouldn't want any more than that but <laughs> you're gagging for more i want to talk about your bike yeah obviously you're fresh off the world cup season at the moment do you change it much for this event yeah that's the first thing like most of the boys said to do was like just make it stiffer so that's exactly what we did. I didn't make it stiff enough actually in the beginning. So yeah, we've like put, I think the spring is like, it was a 400 and now it's a 450. So we've gone up two spring rates and we've put a token in the fork and gone up like six PSI. Bloody hell. Yeah, just the landings are so harsh. So, and I usually like a soft setup, so. And what yeah. about tires and stuff like that? Do you, I definitely run mine harder here, but do you keep them the same? I think, because it was just so wet, I kept mine pretty similar. I think I went up like one or two PSI, but nothing really. It's not a big change, that. And, obviously, you weren't French born, were you? No. But French living, is that why your brakes are this way around? Um, well, it's not actually the reason. It's because Nigel Page, who used to race, he raced BMX and his brake was on his back brake was on the right and he just told us that's how it was meant to happen. And but he was wrong. <laughs> yeah. So but then yeah I did grow up in, in Morzine so it kinda made sense anyway. Sick. Well very good. Yeah. Nice one T. Three time hardline champ. On a new bike, 
Yeah, man. How's it going this year? It's going really good. I'm having a good time, bar the weather. So far, yeah, stop that. Sorry, mate. I'm just fiddling always. <laughs> always. Yeah, it's going good. Bike's sick. We've got intermediates on. Actually, you just asked about that. I've had these on all week. The intermediate tyres. They're these intermediate. Are, they look yeah, pretty aggressive. Yeah, these are like, um, they are called the Argo Tower. We ran them last year at Snowshoe and pretty much all the races in between. What ran them all week in there? Assault. 27 23 or 27 24 is that normal for you pretty normal pressures even at hardline the uh, tires these have such a good sidewall conti developed them for three years with the athens honestly the sidewall on these things is like one of the best bits and can we talk about the bike or is it secret i think pretty people secret. know about um, it um yeah it's the new pivot phoenix prototype we're just developing changing always we've changed like three things so far we've got another new chain device on and we've got another one coming we're always working on those which is cool do you love it I honestly love it, yeah. It's uh, a little bit different than the other bike. It's a mullet. I've never had a mullet bike in anything before, so that's really cool. Even now, man, I buzz my ass so much on the tyre on the track. Just I like lean off the back quite a lot, maybe have a weird riding style, I don't know. So, and that suspension, setup, pressures, anything different? Oh, actually, yeah, we're up. We're up 15 psi on the shock from normal and two or three psi on the fork. So Tokens that's like, and. That's all the same. We're going up a little bit of compression in the shock as well. But um, ask Barney. I kind of just trust Barney, but Barney, do you start? But I think we'll do this, mate. Sounds good, man. Like, you're the mechanic. Last question, Bernard. It is pouring with rain. Pouring. Will you change anything setup wise for this rain? Maybe I'd go a little bit softer back in the shock, just I'm planting in a bit. But yeah. Because we had up 15 psi. But otherwise, run it how you rung it and go hard, mate. Good to go. Good luck, bud. Cheers, mate. Northern, Pete. Hi, right, mate. Good how to are see you. you. Very Always well. A pleasure. Northern works on a lot of World Cup riders bikes and this week you're with Thibaut Lally. You're with Thibaut Lally on his V10 That's which looks one. lovely but what's it like working on bikes at Hardline compared to usual down in World Cups? <sighs> a bit more of a heart attack really. You just have to make everything as hard as you can just until the moment they almost can't ride it on the rest of the stuff. So it's way different to what he'd race at oh, World Cup. Hugely yeah. different setup yeah 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 completely. Spring That's weight on the rear? Cool. The spring rate, we've gone up a spring rate. Pretty much everything's closed in terms of compression, hydraulic bottom out and anything we can to stop him dying. Tire pressures? Tire pressures, he's gone up by 0.2 to 0.3 of a bar bit. each. Blimey. I know, yeah. Anything on sort of geometry, bar height, anything like that? Everything else has stayed the same just to keep him comfortable. Don't make too many big changes so it's not like weird for him. Just got everything rock on hard, Jono. <laughs> and what so about scared. these forks? They look upside down. Yeah, I did a bad job of installing them. They're actually meant to be the other way up. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, mate, they've been doing real good here so far. Real Buzzing. happy with them. And he's been going well too. Yeah, mate, he loves this thing, eh? Sick. Trying Thanks, to give me a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> Another one. Yeah. <laughs> Teo Erlangsson, a fan favourite, always smiling. Let's talk about your bike. This is whoa, your third one. Well, I'm a big fan of this fine man here. And uh, <laughs> we're talking about this fine young rig, Common Soul Supreme V5. What size is it? XL, because I'm an XL boy. How tall are you? Waist down, six foot two. How much do you six weigh? Foot four. Um, I'd like to say 86, but it's probably, probably more 90 side. <laughs> it's a couple of beers this summer. So uh, What's got... special? What do you change for Hardline? Um, nothing, because I'm so fat I set it up for fat boy year round. <laughs> and, uh, but it's a f mean rig. I actually can't believe it hasn't exploded. I've done a couple of big landings this week and every time I'm like, how's the bike still in one piece? <laughs> so but it's, it's aluminium? Aluminium, Fox shocks, span components. I uh, bloody running crank by the pedals because my pedals fell out my bike box because it rained at the airport so I'm running these bloody weird pedals case the road gap so I ended that rear wheel so that's a, a Atherton, Atherton Racing sponsored so <laughs> rear a, wheel. Donor, a, a donor bike some would say a little donor rear wheel the rest of it's mint the shock air shock actually I was running a coil shock at Voldesol I'll put an air one on for this so it's a bit better in the big uh, transition or like the jump transitions Saint brakes. The sickest thing I reckon is the 220 rotors, front and rear. Not 220 even, mil, yeah, yeah. Not even sponsored by Golfer, but I have to buy those Golfer rotors because they're sick. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a mean rig. It's got a couple flip chips and things in there that you can play around with the length and the BB and all of that. But um, yeah, it's been doing me good. Sick toe. Well, I'm going to have to cut this short because we're getting soaked. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to ride later, dude. Oh, I love coming to Wales, dude. It's the best in July. Yes. <laughs> Matt, Yo. I've been talking to people about bike setup for Hardline. For, for you, I guess downhill bike setup isn't something you know much about. 
I don't know how it's set up, to be honest. I, I built this to ride Darkfest, which is like downhill dirt jumps. They're ever so smooth. And I haven't changed anything. So, 571 pound spring, but that doesn't mean anything because it all is related to leverage ratios. I don't know what they are. This is a prototype. It's a Marin prototype downhill bike, park bike. It's for like smashing laps at Whistler, which isn't this. I find the woods here quite difficult. Well, I think that's because I got my tires too hard and my suspension too hard, but the jumps are immense. It's so sick. It is fun hitting the 90 footers on it was bang on. It's just everything in between that's a problem. Is but it mullet, weird for you hitting the big like metal kicker and the bike having so much suspension? And yeah, it's weird. You corner up down. that metal kicker. So it is, it is odd. I do, I'd, I would rather hit that on a dirt jump bike. Got Goodyear tires, gusset components, halo wheels, only suspension, marine frame, absolute back chaining, Shimano components. It's a hell of a steed. It's the first ever marine to ride hardline. Looks good. Long may it rain. Long may it rain. Harry, going, mate? it's not raining right now, but it has been heavy and I can see the wheels are off. Yeah, What's you missed happening? it by like five minutes. It was absolutely tipping it down. So we're whacking Argo tails on. Um, they're way more aggressive, so should be able to find some grip up there, hopefully. Are you worried about rolling speed with them? No, no, they're meant for that. They're really good for rolling speed as well, so. And the rocks, you're just gonna have to accept maybe a little bit more sketchy there, but. Yeah, you gotta accept it, I think. Yeah. Especially after that step down, coming into the left. That's hard enough in the dry, isn't it? <laughs> it is. <laughs> Anything crazy. special to tell people about on this? What, um, what's it called? What size is it? I'm on an XL, which is the NP3. Um, it's a new proof descent. I haven't changed too much to be fair. I've whacked a bit of compression on, on the forks. So we've got a bit of high speed for the drops. Um, other than that, kept it the same. Um, yeah, it's all running good. Handlebar height? We're on 35 mil rise and I've got a 10 mil spacer underneath. So, so you're pretty I tall. Like it. I like it pretty high at the front, yeah. yeah. That looks yeah, good, yeah. mate. Good luck this weekend. Thank you very much. Cheers, boss. I want to take this opportunity to talk about my bike. So Brayton is going to help support this. Brayton, over to you. Brayton's hand. Have you got a hyper smooth on? Because I've got... Red tape, red tape. A lot of red tape. Red tape. Uh, right, Jono, we're here. Red Bull Hardline 2023. This is your weapon of choice. What Tell us it? about her. Tell us about her. This is my propane rage. And if you come in close, you'll see it's a lovely raw layup looking carbon. Beautiful. It has got Goodyear downhill tires. They're called Newtons. Mavic D-Max wheels that held up on the 90 footers. You've been running these year wheels all season, it's right? It's been a good year. No pun. Tell I, us about your suspension. I've gone really hard. I'm probably a bit heavier than I've ever been. And I have got 112 PSI in the fork. Are you I'm, kidding me? I'm not kidding, but I don't run loads of tokens. I think I have two, or is oh, it seven? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you're, uh, you're a bit out there, son. Who says I'm right? Who says I'm wrong? Exactly. I've got 290 PSI in the rear shock. And we are on a Fox Float X2 tokens. Uh, full. Yeah, really? Brimmed. Right. Or maybe three. Is there only three? No, I believe you can have five. I've got three. Right. Not full. Okay. Um, full Shimano set up on drivetrain. Everything's sane, so it's strong, it's durable, it's tough. But I like the modulation on the XTR brakes rather than sane for me. Um, Especially here, you're kind of fighting locking up a lot here, aren't you? And yeah. You kind of slow down for the turns after the big drops, road gap and drop after the metal ramp especially. So, a bit of modulation, less locking. Got a full ceramic coating on this from G-Technique, which does help to keep it clean. And the seat, I think, is funny because I started the week with that in a normal position, but I bottomed out so hard that it slid the whole thing forward. Right, yeah. These are one up components aluminium bars which are 800 mil wide how wide are yours Mike that's pretty wide isn't it 800 750 50 mil more less well mine are more yeah <laughs> one final thing what size frame this is a large you're on a large and your height I'd probably go XL to be honest I'm a touch under six foot. final for the viewers are we full 29 on mullet full 29 and that is all I run on all of my bikes right incredibly balanced steed thank you to the belly Ben Andy Cole was World Cup mechanic. We had a World Cup win as a pair this year, but this week, G Atherton's mechanic. Let's talk about his bike and what it's like to work on it here. Well, it's like working on Andy's bike, but it's brakes around the other way. Because <laughs> it's the same. Um, no, G, G runs a pretty normal setup. He just goes slightly harder on the spring for hardline and slightly firmer in the tyre pressures, but really it's he runs it pretty similar to how he would normally run a bike. 
Uh, What's well, the geometry on this? 63 degree head angle, 470 mil reach. He runs a 450 mil rear end, 350 mil bottom bracket height. He runs uh, 780 mil bars with a five mil stem spacer and 30 mil rise, so 35 mil rise in total. Uh, this looks like a lovely muffin. Oh, that's where I left it. <laughs> nice one, Ben. Cheers, mate. TJ, yeah. your profession is off the track as a as a filmer. Yeah. But I want to do a camera check. Tell us about the spec in this lovely well, bike stand. Here we've got my 2021 model Sony A7S III. This is the workhorse, the only camera I bring. So if this one gets waterlogged, Rebel won't pay me. Uh, we've got the 70-200 f2.8 and it stays on f2.8. If any videographers go above that, absolute pansies. Uh, focus pulls, you know, we toggle on and off. Mostly manual because I'm a G. Are we allowed to swear? Yeah. Leave that out if not. Uh, big dead cat on here for wind because it's it's windy. It's it's windy as can up here this week. And as you can see, I am the man of the day, uh, as it is always on my lenses. And uh, yeah, that's about it. 124k all day every day, uh, mainly for Instagram reels that go out at 720p. So 4k is not necessarily needed, but that is the rig for Hardline. Thank you very much, TJ. Hey, bother. Yeah, I want uh, the audience to know I've actually got an iPhone 14. It's got two lenses, one wide, one zoom. Yeah. And I'd like to know from Jono's viewers why do the iPhone clips always do better on Instagram? <laughs> they might poor well. guys out here on the hill the whole day with this whole rig, and then these get views, and these are, well. These get views, but are you getting paid the big money? <laughs> <laughs> and does he care about your views? <laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> Ben Oakley, you've been helping my brother Matt this week with some mechanics. Yeah. What's your thoughts on the bike? Uh, it's an interesting bike. I've been waiting for him to clean it for four days so we can see if there's any damage to it. But um, it seems to be going all right for him and somehow he's decided to put it over every feature on the track. Uh, I'm not sure I'd be so brave, but you know, it seems to be getting him down there. Um, and it seems to be down there as well. Yeah, well, I thought, you know, he's not going to clean it, so I might as well get more muddy. Um, <laughs> We gave it some love at the uh, Red Bull performance camp about a month ago. We told him he should probably get it looked over and proper rebuild service. And Do you reckon he's done that? No, he definitely hasn't. <laughs> um, but well, yes, thank we... you on his behalf for no all the Cheers, mate. Thank you. <laughs>